The rapper B.O.B. is following in the footsteps of noted scientist and philosopher Tila Tequila in that he's taken to Twitter to preach the good word that the Earth is really flat. B.O.B. seems to have a lot of really impressive graphs and charts and pictures to support his position, but after looking through them, spending way too much of my day looking through them, it turns out B.O.B. really just has a serious problem with understanding that the Earth is really, really big. It's easy to make fun of B.O.B. for this because... Well, because he's a fucking idiot. The human race has known that the Earth is round for several millennia now. The ancient Greeks even saw it with their very own eyes in an experiment that you yourself can replicate, provided that you live with an easy access of an ocean with good atmospheric conditions and a sufficiently busy shipping industry. The ancient Greeks noticed that as ships sailed out to sea, the hull of the ship, the bottom of it, would disappear before the sails. That's the sort of thing that can only happen if the ship is traveling in a downwards direction relative to the observer. In other words, it's going down around the curve of the Earth. Part of the problem is that most people don't live near an ocean with good atmospheric conditions and a sufficiently busy shipping industry. So most people haven't seen the evidence for the curvature of the Earth with their very own eyes. You could potentially see it from an airplane that's traveling at a sufficiently high altitude, but even then you would need to have a very wide field of vision, again, a good atmospheric condition on that day, and you would need to have a horizon that's relatively free of mountains and valleys that might change how flat it is. And that's because the Earth is very, very big, a fact that we generally don't internalize. It's not something that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis as we go about our lives. And so here we have B.O.B., who's stuck staring at a tiny photo of himself trying to figure out why he can't see the curve of the Earth if it is in fact round when he's looking at, for instance, two cities that he says are 16 miles apart. The Earth curves at a rate of about eight inches per mile. So if those cities were in fact 16 miles apart, then you would be able to see that each city is about five feet lower than the horizon right in the center. Of course, these cities aren't 16 miles apart. We are talking about B.O.B. here. Those cities are Atlanta, Georgia, and Buckhead, Atlanta, which are actually seven and a half miles apart. So really, we should notice that each city is about four and a half feet beneath the horizon in the center of the image. The photo B.O.B. posted is 600 by 450 pixels. The tallest building in that photo is the Bank of America Plaza, which is in reality 1,023 feet tall. And in the photo, being generous, it takes up about seven pixels. It's about seven pixels high. That means that each pixel in that photo is about 147 feet. And B.O.B. wants to see a difference that would be less than 0 0.007th of a pixel. So maybe now you can see why you're not seeing the curvature of the Earth in that photo. Because again, the Earth is very, very, very big. And by the way, note to B.O.B., if you really want to study the curvature of the Earth, try taking a photo that's fucking got a flat horizon. Jesus Christ. So yes, obviously B.O.B. is a moron, but he's a moron who was failed by our society and our education system, which has apparently taught him that science is just a collection of accepted facts in some dusty old book, which you can either accept on faith or reject using your super special mind. He wasn't taught that science is a process. Science is a way of observation. And the things that scientists understand, they understand through a long history of careful observations. I should note here that one of those observations includes astronauts going into space and literally observing the round Earth as they fly around it, but I digress. These observations result in a society that fully functions based upon our scientific understanding of the world. And that includes a satellite system that you might use to play your music on MTV, if MTV still played music, or a GPS system that you might use to get to the top of a mountain to prove some dipshit point about how the Earth is really flat, or the scientific understanding that allows us to get on an airplane, fly to another continent, 
and then keep flying in the same direction and come back around to the place that you started. It's like like magic, but it's scientific fact. 